All right, so today we are continuing to talk about equivalent expressions, only today there are no exponents, okay? <clears throat> so, uh, remember our keyword from our problem is equivalent, okay? So we're looking for two expressions that end up being equal, okay? So we learned that anytime we want to check if two expressions are equivalent, we can plug in two. So anytime we have a variable like x, y, uh, looks like these are all y, but if you have an m, z, x, whatever letter, you can always plug in two when it says expressions are equivalent. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do to check and see. Um, one of the things I do wanna talk about is some, some operations are reversible. So adding and multiplying can be reversed. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So two plus three can be reversed and be three plus two because they're both gonna equal five, okay? Same thing for multiplication. Uh, three times four equals 12 and four times three equals 12. Okay, so they are reversible, they are rearranged. So addition can be reversed and multiplication can be reversed. You notice that when you subtract or divide, those cannot, and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So in this case, um, let's do 10 minus one. Okay, 10 minus one is nine. But if I do one minus 10, that equals negative nine because I can't take a larger number from a smaller number without getting a negative, okay? So these will not come out the same. They are not reversible, subtraction and division. Okay, same thing for division. So let's try eight divided by four. Well, I know eight divided by four is two, but when I do four divided by eight, that's one half, right? Four is half of eight. So again, not the same. So remember, adding and multiplying can be rearranged or reversed, but subtracting and dividing cannot, okay? So that's important to remember as we're solving these. So <clears throat> looking at our answer choices, uh, letter A, we have four plus parentheses three times Y, and then we have parentheses four plus three, close parentheses times y. So kind of two things, but we still have adding and multiplying, adding and multiplying, okay? So we're gonna plug in two. So I'm gonna rewrite my whole problem, but instead of that variable y, I'm gonna write the number two. And we're hoping that these come out equal or equivalent. So order of operation says parentheses first, so three times two is six, and six plus four is 10, okay? So we're hoping that this side comes out 10 as well. So on this side, parentheses first, four plus three is seven, and seven times two is 14. So these are not equivalent, okay? They are not equal. So A is not a good answer, all right? So let's try answer B. So looking at answer B, I have division and addition. So I know that with a di division, you cannot switch it. You can't flip it. So looking here, I have 18 divided by Y, and then here I have Y divided by 18. Because those are not in the same order, they've been flipped, I know that this is not gonna come out equal because they have rearranged the division. And so we cannot rearrange division and so these will not come out equal. So I don't even have to solve this one to know that it's not gonna be a correct answer. Okay, so answer choice C says 12 minus y times two, and then 12 minus two times y. So in this case, I have subtraction, and it's in the same order. So I have not reversed it. It's still 12 minus this, 12 minus this. So those match. And then as far as my multiplication is concerned, they flipped it, but remember you can flip multiplying. So I'm gonna plug in my two 
and I'm gonna see if these come out equal. So again, I'm just rewriting my problem, taking the variable y out and plugging in the two. Okay, so parentheses first, two times two is four, and then 12 minus four is eight, okay? On this side, two times two is four, and then 12 minus four is eight. So these are equal, okay? And that's what we wanted. We wanted them to be equivalent. We wanted them to be equal. So this is probably a really good answer, okay? We're gonna go ahead and prove or disprove letter choice D. Okay, so letter choice D says parentheses 10 minus six divided by Y and then 10 minus six divided by Y. So in this case, uh, we've just moved the parentheses around. So I can go ahead and plug in and see if that's gonna equal the same. Okay, so in this case, 10 minus six is in parentheses, so we do it first. 10 minus six is four, and then we bring down divided by two. Four divided by two is gonna equal two. On this side, parentheses first, six divided by two is three, and then bring down my 10, 10 minus three is seven. So again, these are not equivalent. So the only one that makes sense and is equal or equivalent is letter choice C. And that is how we solve for expressions that are equivalent when we have variables. The magic word for this video is cloud, cloud.